Um, Carl called me in the week, Steve. I know, yes. I know we sort of ban each other from speaking to him. Well, you seem to have just disobeyed that rule. I, I can't believe it. I just can't resist it. But, um, he said, uh, oh, just saw a program. He said, what's that big balloon that blew up? And the newsreader was going all mental. And I went, is that the, the Hindenburg? He went, yeah. Oh, I said it was a, a big Zeppelin. He went, yeah. He went, what happened? I said, I said, well, he said it was helium, wasn't it? And I went, yeah. I said it was a big, just a huge Zeppelin full of helium. And what caused us? I don't know. It could be a spark or anything, but of course it just goes because it's helium so flammable. And he went, now they didn't show this in the documentary, but did all their voices go funny? <laughs> And I went, what? He went, well, no, if you take a little bit of a little balloon of helium, your voice goes funny. So if that was, like, millions of gallons of it, and it blew up in the air, and you were, and it was in the atmosphere, you'd be carrying, you'd be talking like Donald Duck, he went. So, imagine that. God. And, they, and but what I liked about it, I said, this wasn't in the documentary. No. No, it was an oversight. Maybe just time was against him, they didn't have time to explain Just that like that, but that book about Hitler didn't have his one ball incident. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's annoyed me, that. What? What is? The old Hitler book. Why? Just, just because I, I knew it all. Do you know what I mean? I was cycling in today. I was like, yeah, going through it all again. Yeah. Had it all in my head. But that's why you should know something as opposed to just cram and have a piece of trivia that's, that's precariously sort of teetering on the edge. But why do I understand? You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's... Well, you're not interested by it. That's it's what I mean. It's one of the most you know, fascinating things. You, am, you know all about things you're interested in. You never forget them, do you? You know? Yeah, I, I was a bit interested in it, but... Like I say, I mean, I'm cramming all this in, in into a, a normal week. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You go on and, you know, you watch telly and that in the week. You've got loads of leisurely time. I'm sort of using the only little bit of rest time I have to learn as well as try to do all my other stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, he texted me yesterday about Hitler. He went, he went, stop making me read this heavy shit. He said, I've seen in the back of this book, there's one on Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, it is. It is interesting, but not when you have to read it, do you know what I mean? Right. It's, it's but do you think you'd have read time. it in your leisure time? To be honest? No, you wouldn't no, have. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no. No, it's what not do you do in your leisure time? Um, I like, you know, going f out for food and that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Foraging? What do you mean going out <laughs> yeah. for food? They <laughs> like, come have a little yeah. hole and go, <laughs> go hunting. Mm. Yeah. This is Carl. He's hungry. He knows he has to get to the greasy spoon by 11. Round. <laughs> Round. <laughs> 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 Wow! Many of Carl's close friends have never made it across this road. <laughs> there was a zebra crossing installed just for the safety of Carl. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, can I have a bacon body into- Carl is enjoying his- Wow! But he has to get back! <laughs> his girlfriend's asked for one as well. <laughs> She's home with a PlayStation 2. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Rick. <laughs> it was David Bowie impressions earlier. Now it's just a selection of crazy sound effects, like that guy you in Police you Academy. Some. You said you wanted some. He hasn't got time to make them up. He's reading about Hitler. You heard him. Do a machine we've, gun or a helicopter. We've, we've, got, we've got to do all our own sound effects. <laughs> oh. oh. So do you, want a, do you want a week off? Do you not want to learn about Winston Churchill? Why don't you read it if you want to, and just, you know, if you if you get interested, then read on. I think that's... Because that's what I did with school, and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you decided you didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... But hasn't that, hasn't that taught you something? <laughs> Can't we just do it like a TV series? It doesn't go on forever. We've done three weeks. Give it a rest now for the, for like the summer. Yeah, because most series last for three weeks. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. What, what's your favourite subject in the world? What's your favourite thing in the world? Um... I would have said, um, what, at school, like? No, just, just no, in, in, in life. life. What's, what are you interested I in? Like, I like little interesting bits, like... <laughs> Um, <laughs> sentences. Atlantic Ocean. It's got 17 quadril quadrillion gallons of water in it. Right. Well, that's that's interesting. Without having to read a book. Well, why is that interesting, though? What what are you basing it on? What, what when you when you think of 17 quadrillion? It's a lot, what, isn't it? What are you imagining? Just like a big wave. Imagine <laughs> how much water. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what's your subject then? I don't know. No, it's just that that Wilson was your favourite subject. You gave me a fact <laughs> that is so. No, but that, that sort of thing. Like I said to you before, you were talking about monkeys, and I said, do you know that if you give a monkey a childbirth tablet, it works on it the same way because it's it's kitted out the same. Could I just say something? We weren't talking about monkeys. What were we talking about then? You no, know, we were talking about something different. And you went, if you give a monkey a childbirth, but it works. That's what you said. No, we were talking about monkeys. We were. We were talking about sneezing. Yeah. Yeah, and you went, 
if you give a monkey childbirth pills, it works. That's, that's, that's... Well, we're yeah, well, we're talking about interesting things about sneezing, <laughs> and I remembered an interesting fact about monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway, um, Second. half past two, brilliant. Um, oh. what did happen to that bloke who used to make the sound effects in Police Academy? I don't know. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Do you remember him? I don't remember was him. Was he called Hightower? Yeah, he was good. Yeah? If yeah. anyone knows, give us a call. <laughs> We've had a number of calls and emails yeah. pointing out that the Hindenburg disaster was not because the Ze Zeppelin was filled with helium, hydrogen. but filled with hydrogen. All right, okay. Well, I thought about that when he told me in the well, week. Yeah, but, but I assumed he must have got that off from the do documentary. So it just, it just went up. So that's, that's probably why the, the voices didn't go That funny. was probably why it didn't feature in the documentary. Yeah. But it seems to me we should have thought of that. I mean, like, it's school fates and stuff where they're like filling little balloons with helium. Yeah. You know, there'd be all kinds of horror stories if they were just, you know, just blowing up, you know, left, right and centre. I don't think you can just blow helium up like that, can you? What? Isn't that the point? What, what I'm mean? saying is it's not, it's, it can't be as potentially lethal as hydrogen, helium. What, hydrogen isn't as bad as helium? No, helium's not as bad as hydrogen. I don't know what you're saying, because that, that Hindenburg was hydrogen. Yeah, and I'm saying, why did we think it was helium? That's crazy. You go to fates, school fates and stuff with, like, little kids, and they're filling up little balloons with helium. They wouldn't have big canisters of helium, you know, a, a charity event, or a, you know, a small kind of bring and buy sale if it was deadly. Yeah, but it's not as big, I mean, when you buy those balloons at a fair, it's not as big as that, uh, that, that big But presumably balloon. it's still flammable, is it? But it wasn't, it wasn't the fact how dangerous the the rare gas was, or the, uh, it was the fact that, um, it was made of this thing that caught fire and just went, there was nothing, a hole in it would have been as bad, it just, it just burnt quickly and fell to the ground because the hydrogen or helium escaped. It wasn't, it was irrelevant that, what, what the gas was, wasn't it? I thought it was, that there was supposed to be some kind of explosion. Well, I don't know what it was, but the point is because the outer thing was so thin, right, the the gas inside escaped and it fell to the so ground. So it just fell to the ground like one of the, like when you popped a balloon. Mm -hmm. Well, not not not. It didn't quite. sort of go. <laughs> it didn't like flap all over no. the place and make a zany noise. But I tell you what, because when I was looking on the internet in the week for it, I was like trying to get a bit more info on it. Guess how many balloons it would take helium <laughs> balloons to lift a human up. <laughs> go on. Six thousand. So we do it. Come on. Brilliant. Next week, that's got to be a challenge. Can we, can we, is, if, is there a sort of balloon company or, or, or some sort of, you know, uh, party company that are willing to sponsor us to lift Carl <laughs> into the air right. with helium balloons? Ten feet off the ground, where we're tethering him down, right? Is there someone willing to pay for 6,000 balloons to try and lift We can maybe up? get some kind of company to sponsor it. I'm thinking like Electrolux, if they're going to sponsor puddings. If they're going to sponsor puddings, uh, you know, and, uh, 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 celebrities, Russ Abbott, they will sponsor Carl being lift. Heat magazine, Heat magazine, come on. They're a big selling, very successful magazine there, and they've know about Carl because they've mentioned him. Heat magazine, can we have a heat balloon? Yeah? Oh, six Carl, is an awful into lot. Into the really. air, six, yeah. It's the heat, 6,000 Carl challenge. Lift Carl 10 feet into the air. Yeah. Come on. What about if it was Carl and Dr. Fox? We could get two different balloons. I think we need a lot more than 6,000 to mix. It's a lot more than Fox, isn't it? Mix. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just explained what I'm laughing at, right? Uh, we just had a call um, from someone saying his company would sponsor Carl, right, to be raised by all these balloons if he could have a walk-on part in the office. And uh, uh, we immediately went, oh, we're worried about that sort of thing. You can't really promise that artistically. You know? And I was worried about the legality of it as well. How can you promise someone that for personal gain that's a private, and all that sort of stuff, right? And I went, oh, I don't know. And anyway, put the phone down to him, and Carl went, <laughs> I love the fact you're more effing worried about that than me being raised 30 feet in the effing air. <laughs> <laughs> you started getting scared, did you? Are you worried about it? Well, You're quite excited about the idea of the challenge, though, aren't you? I like the idea, but I want, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like the idea, Carl? Oh, what if it went all wrong and we're there going, oh, the humanity of it. I think we need Carl to get... Carl, he's just, he's just... <laughs> and, the, and the rope would pull out my trousers and pull <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's definitely got to be Dr. Fox if that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, we've got to do this. 
So hang on, but let's just no. think about the, because wait a minute, before, I mean we say this, but we'd have to get all kinds of health and safety people involved. No, we, no we wouldn't. Of course we can't! <laughs> start in the air. No, you're allowed to do it on private land, aren't you? Not what happened to the Hindenburg! No, but that was, there was, I was just <laughs> saying, there was lots of people died. Listen, look, all we do is we get, all, we get someone right. But what if, what if he, go, he gets loose and he just floats off into the air? <laughs> no, we never, and he meets his magpie that he lost. He yeah, used to I peck his grifter. <laughs> So, I'm wait, so excited about this. Talking? Listen, we've got to do this. No, Please. Just have a minute. Let's no. just stop and think about it. It's right. 60,000 balloons. balloons. Look, no, Was it's not. It's 6,000. 6, 6, but 6,000 balloons? That's a lot of balloons. No, it's not. No, no, oh, it's don't not. Be silly. For sponsorship, people pay for uh, No, listen, it's worth it. There must be a company out there that are paying for this just so we can film yeah, it. Well, is there not an easier way of just getting <laughs> one big balloon? Then the challenge is no. there's no challenge. There. No, it's yeah, got to be. It's got our people coming up and hooking balloons. It'd be like Buckaroo. And the person who puts the balloon that actually raises him 10 feet wins. A prize or something. So hang no. on. So what we got? We've got each person with like oh. five hundred balloons. Yeah. That's mad. You, can you imagine how many balloons that is? That's ludicrous. Six thousand. Yeah. That's an awful lot of balloons. I don't know. You'd, what, we'd, there must be someone that, that that could do this. Oh look, people have walked on the moon for Christ's sake. We can raise Carl Pilkington with some balloons. Yes, but they had a NASA budget. We've got XFM behind us. Yeah, but balloons. <laughs> yeah. Balloons are cheap. You can get about a pack of twenty-five for about one fifty. <laughs> right. Fine. <laughs> No, True. Yeah, the helium though, Carl. You can't just like attach yourself to a pack of balloons. No, but what oh. you think we blow them all up with helium? Right. Oh. Off you go. But then we can do something with the balloons, can't we? Like release them afterwards. Oh, yeah. we'll release them back <laughs> into the wild. <laughs> Brilliant, as a sign of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Fly, my pretty fly, Listen, be free! I am so excited. I have not been so excited about and, and so I thought that Robin Ince was going to stay in my cupboard for a thousand pounds. Look, we've got to, we've got to do 6, this. Six thousand balloons. I don't think it's going to happen. That's an awful lot of balloons, and I just don't oh. think I don't see how we can tether them all to Carl. He's a small man. No, but because you know about different lengths, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Carl knows. Can you uh, think about the logistics of this? Oh, someone must know. There must be a company. There's a bloke willing to do it. I know, I know he doesn't know the technology of it. He's willing to sort of stand by. And, and so the company just on, has we, access to helium like that. So we can do this. Come on, London. Someone's done Londoners. It, it was on the internet already, so someone obviously has done it. Yeah. So they didn't say, "Oh, we can't get all the balloons." No, they probably worked it out, didn't they? Must I can't. Be. Carl, you're oh, more yeah. excited about this than anything else about your education, about your exam well, results. You're so exciting. exciting. And, we, and we'll have a little rope. We'll be like flying a little kite, a little Carl. We're like, let's go. Fly. Carl, what will you wear? Like a one-piece jumpsuit? Yeah, I mean, that'd with be sponsorship all over it. Oh, it'd be yeah. great. You look like Jackie Stewart, and just as you go up your little face, oh my God, I'm not going to sleep until this is done. This is the most exciting thing ever. Only ten feet. Ten feet, yeah. We need some. We need some kind of rope to sort of tether you to the ground. Yeah. We don't want you sort of flying <laughs> this off. This is going to be great. And he'd have a little crash helmet and everything, and little Deedee boppers on the crash helmet, like yeah. he's a little flying ant. Definitely, definitely. We give him a little. Oh my God, can we give you an outfit like little wings and everything? Can oh. we paint your face with like children's no, paint? I'm not yeah. Doing all that. Why? Oh, because yeah, no, that would be silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Carl, do this. Do it. We do it for charity. We do it for charity. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is. We we'll do it for brilliant. children in need. Please, just phone in if you've got if you can help us lift Carl up thirty feet. Let's say thirty. I think feet. it has to be a decent. Yeah, yeah. it has to be a decent. Well, height. is there a world record? Because we want to break that. If we're yeah, we want to break that. What is the world record for raising a man by balloons? Yeah. Okay, oh. so listen, let's just, let's just finalise details oh. here. We've got, uh, I'm so excited. email address, ricky.gervais yeah. at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Ricky.gervais yeah. at xfm.co.uk. What's the number? UK. What's the number? The number, Carl? 0800 800 1234. Lift Carl. Give it again. Lift Carl. 0800 800 1234. Sponsored by Heat Magazine and or you, something Maybe like. even if you've just got an idea about how we might be able to organise it, how we might be able to get it done, if you've got contact, anything, just get in touch, give us some information. Oh, oh, that'd be great. I'm gonna play a Beatles track for song for the... For the lovers, oh man, it's uh, it's off the help album, and it's um, you've got to hide your love away. Oh, just think of his little face. Well, XFM, we're near the end of the show. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. We've enjoyed your company, Carl. We're going to try and get Carl in the air. Anyone that can help us, take him up with helium balloons. Um, our friend Johnny Mango called again, and uh, apparently the record's eleven thousand feet. Carl is getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, the, the world record is eleven thousand six hundred and thirty-one feet raised by hot air balloons. How, yeah. how tall's uh, Canary Wharf? It's 11,631 feet. Exactly. What's I don't know, Carl. Is it how much higher? It's a long way. A lo a l a more. Because yeah, I'm, I'm like six foot something. Yeah, think of that. It's just look at Steve. All right. Yeah. But you can change a record. You could say, well, the sort of balloons are the one with, with Mickey Mouse on it or something. Yeah, can I just, yeah, sa can I just say something? That man did 11,000 feet, but he wasn't naked. <laughs> All right? Come on, Carl. 
Do you be the your thirty feet will be the world record for naked ballooning. Yeah? Mm. Think about it. All right, it's for charity. Well, thank you for listening, everyone. We are going to raise Carl. We are going to raise Carl. And after after uh, Carl said, and just to think, my teacher said I'd never be a high flyer. So this is your chance, Carl, to shine, to fly. So it'll be brilliant. Uh, this is a final song for the ladies. Spell and Sebastian. We've not heard uh, them for oh. a while. This is from. Uh, it's actually a B side or a triple side or whatever you call it. Um, track three on a single called Jonathan David. This is the beautiful, the loneliness of the middle distance runner. Play Goodbye. Goodbye.